all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for your support if you're a returning subscriber. But if you're new here, you are welcome. Please don't leave this channel without subscribing. Subscribe and when you subscribe, remember to click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I promise you, you're going to enjoy every content that I do in this channel. So guys, before I start our today's video, I want you to understand this. I'm not here to offend anyone, not at all, and I'm not also here to make black men look very bad <laughs> or look very good than white men or make white men look very good than black men <laughs> or very bad than black men not at all that is not what i'm trying to do what i'm trying to do here is to help you who is looking for a white man maybe for marriage to be in the right hands to give your heart to the right person one of the challenges that a lot of women faces when they're looking for love i too have been there <laughs> You trust the wrong man. You give your heart to the wrong man. You give your time to the wrong man. And in the end, you get hurt. So this video is going to help you give your heart to the right person, give your time to the right person, give your all <laughs> to the right person. And that is why today our video is the types of white men you should never date because if you date these types it means that you are trusting the wrong person or you're giving your time to the wrong person so let us start our video type number one of a white man you should never never date is a rich white man bella he's rich yes he's rich but he is always out clubbing with a lot of women. He is always out partying. He is always out drinking. <laughs> that is his lifestyle. That kind of a man, if you are a lady who is looking for a man to settle, a husband material, he will never settle down with you because this man is still on his adventure. <laughs> he is still enjoying life. Yes, he's going to be with you for some time, but once he is done with you, then your name should be his ex. <laughs> Trust me, guys. I want to give you an example and you'll understand after this example why I'm telling you that this type of you should never date. Here in Italy, we have a case of a rich young guy, white guy, <laughs> he's Italian, very rich. He has his own private jet. He used to go to Zanzibar, fly from Milan to Zanzibar just for breakfast. <laughs> you can imagine how rich he is. And during summer, he could take like three villas at Ibiza in Spain and take a lot of girls with his friends only to party, partying, dragging, doing all kind of bad things there in those villas so this guy was very rich he is rich he's still rich but right now he is in jail why <laughs> he did a party one time at his place in milan and invited a lot of girls young girls because for him if you are 19 then you're about to get old if you're 20 years old then you are very old <laughs> for party it was a private party and a lot of things were going on in that party when the party was going on he took one lady one young girl she was 18 years old took this girl to his room and dragged this girl did all sorts of things guys <laughs> and this girl because she lost conscious when she woke up, she was crying in pain because she was feeling a lot of pain down here. All her body was paining because this guy uh, tied 
her arms, her legs, and did everything that he wanted to do with this girl. So when this girl woke up, escaped, managed to escape, and went to the police station to report this action. And this guy tried to call her that you should keep quiet. I'll give you 50,000 euros. But this girl refused and went ahead with her decision. After that, a lot of ladies came out, the ones that went through the same thing that this 18 years girl went through with this white rich guy. He was taken by the police. He is in jail, I think for seven months right now. But this guy is very rich. His lifestyle was partying, clubbing, always. So please, if you find this type of, even if he is rich, he's not the man to settle with. If you want a man to settle with, he is not that kind of. Please don't date this kind of a man. Type number two of a white guy you should never date is the too jealousy type. Never date this type, guys, because this man, when he gets jealousy, then he becomes very violent. He starts breaking things. Maybe if he has a glass in his hands, he will just break that glass to show you that he is really angry. Or if he has a phone in his hands, or if you have a phone, <laughs> you're next to him, he will take that phone and break it. Or this guy will tell you, if you ever betray me, or if you ever leave me, I will take your life. Take this very serious, guys. It is not something to joke about. He is not joking. He will do it. He's not threatening you. He will do it. I've seen a lot of cases whereby men tell their girlfriends or their wives that if you ever leave me, if you ever betray me with another guy, I will take your life. And in the end, do you know what they do? They really take their lives. Jealousy is allowed in a relationship. It's okay because if you're dating someone and then he is not jealousy of you, then <laughs> I'll doubt that guy that, do you really love me? <laughs> that, kind, that little jealousy should be there, but too much jealousy, please, please don't allow it. It's not healthy. Type number three of a white guy you should never date is a white guy that will tell you that let's be in an open relationship. What does this mean? It means that this guy should date other women. <laughs> you should be aware of it. But some of them will tell you, you are not allowed to date any other man, only him, but for him, it should be an open relationship. He is allowed to date any other woman <laughs> and you shouldn't complain about it. My dear black women, my dear sister, if it is not what you're looking for in a relationship, do not accept it, no matter how long you have been single and you want someone, a man figure in your life, but do not accept it just because you are desperate. Do not accept this. It is going to torture you emotionally because being in a such kind of a relationship, it needs someone that is already uh, aware of that. Someone that can really accept such kind of a relationship. <laughs> Maybe you have an experience in that, but something that is very new to you, you say, ah, uh, I've been very single and I've found a white man. I always wanted to date a white man. I'll just accept this open relationship. You will suffer, my dear sister. <laughs> Do not date this type of a white man. This type of a white man, you will tell me, Bella, you're exaggerating, or oh, these things do not exist, but they exist, dear friends. <laughs> so
So this type of a white man, he will tell you that I am separated, but I'm still living with my wife. But don't worry, babes, I'm going to leave her very soon. You remember this Italian gesture? He is lying to you. And this type of men, we find them on online dating sites or maybe on Facebook. <laughs> they are looking for love. They are looking for people to chat with. This man will tell you, I'm very sad in my marriage. We don't talk. Uh, we're just living together. Maybe you have kids. My dear sister, don't waste your time. When I started this video, I told you that there is nothing as bad as giving your time to the wrong person. So trusting such a lie that I am separated with my wife, but we are still living together. I'm going to leave her very soon. Trusting that you are wasting your time. Uh, I believe, I believe guys, if you are done, done, done with your wife, you are done, done, done in your relationship, then you shouldn't live together. Why are you still living together? And okay, if you really want to move on and start a new life, then live alone. Start living alone, then start dating. But you are still living with your ex-wife, you call her ex, you're still living with your ex wife you have separated but living together and again you're looking for another woman while still living with your wife do not trust these kind of men don't give them your time never date such kind of a man date a man who is single he's separated it happens people separate things maybe don't work out it's okay it's not a crime living alone not with his wife because you will never tell if they are really separated you will never tell if this relationship really is not going good and it is going to give you a lot of doubts in your mind chatting with a guy trusting a guy that is still living with his ex in the same house you start thinking like oh maybe or maybe he might betray me with his wife they are still living together anything can happen <laughs> so for you to have a very peaceful relationship not wasting your time do not date this man that is telling you i am separated still living with my wife i'm going to leave her very soon don't trust him at all <laughs> Type number five of a white guy you should never date is this guy that is always at work. Guys, I'm not crazy. <laughs> work is very important in our lives. People need to work so that life can go on. So we understand that. <laughs> but this guy is always at work and you are not his priority. His work is his priority you might even go on a vacation and he will leave you there <laughs> go to work everything is work 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 he doesn't have time for you you will tell me he's working he'll give me money i will enjoy life but guys trust me in a relationship you need to enjoy life together you need to do things together <laughs> If it is going maybe for dinner you need to go together then if this guy gives you money to go alone to the restaurant because he is going to work <laughs> why should you be in a relationship <laughs> should be single <laughs> because there is no difference someone should work men should work but this type of of a white guy who is always at work who is always working you cannot tell him anything. It is work, 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 work. This is stress for you guys. You should date someone who can balance things out. He should work, yes, but he should know that you are his priority too. It's so important, guys. These things, sometimes when we are looking for love, 
we just ignore them we don't think of them so much but when you start living the reality guys <laughs> oh my god you start getting a lot of stress and in the end such kind of a relationship will not work it won't go so long but if it goes so far then you're going to get depressed you get a lot of sickness that you have never imagined to get so it's better not to date this type of a white guy who is always working work 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 type of a white guy you should never date is the mama's boy type okay i'm a mother i will hate a man who will tell my daughter not to love me seriously <laughs> but as a mother when she's grown up then she should be independent so you find this white man he is 30 years plus but still living with his mother he shares bank account with his mother every decision that is made in this man's life it is his mother that makes those decisions he is not planning to move out of his mother's house <laughs> so he wants to date you and live together with his mother guys this kind of a relationship you'll be like you are married to two people because <laughs> the mother is going to make orders and you have also to listen to your husband <laughs> or your boyfriend so i don't advise any black woman or any lady to date this kind of a man not at all the relationship becomes more meaningful i think when you solve your problems together as a couple not involving your mother when you find that his mother decides in everything that concerns the two of you as a couple this is a very big problem this relationship will not work out trust me guys because you need privacy as a couple <laughs> you need your own time <laughs> you need to live your life so don't date this kind of a white man because your relationship your your relationship will not work out and even if it works out for some time it will not work out in the future when you start living the reality because that's when everything comes to the reality when you live together you see i cannot take this i cannot take this at all <laughs> and that's when things get boring sometimes so i would advise any black lady not to date a mama's boy it's not it's not advisable guys it's not advisable <laughs> type number six of a white guy you should never date this type of we find him online dating he will tell you he knows you're from africa or maybe you live let's take an example in the philippines <laughs> or any other part of the world but he's the white guy he's maybe he's from america or he's european and then he tells you you know i love you so much you're so beautiful i want to come and meet you one day so that we can be a couple and i am also planning to retire and when i retire i want to live in africa or i want to live in the philippines i have no plan of living in europe so <laughs> and when i come there i want us uh, to open some business together so that we can live there so when you ask him uh will are we going to visit uh, europe maybe someday or are we going to visit america maybe someday this guy will tell you no you'll never come here you'll never come to europe or you never come to america never because it's not good here i don't like it here it's better the life there in africa or in Asia so I prefer it better there <laughs> they always come with this kind of a story that they want to retire 
in Africa, they want to retire maybe in the Philippines, <laughs> they don't like it in Europe. Yes, it can happen sometimes, but look at who is talking. You are chatting with a guy of 32 years old. <laughs> He's talking of retiring and he wants to come in Africa, maybe in two weeks period to meet you <laughs> and maybe get intimate with you and that's it that's it this guy is not gonna retire there forget about it <laughs> i've had a lot of these stories a lot of women have been writing to me about these stories and sometimes i tell them do not accept this it's not true but some of them don't listen and in the end they get used by these white men they dump them and block them when they return in Europe because someone who is not ready to bring you in Europe or to bring you in America so that you can see his life, how he lives, if he is single or not, <laughs> what kind of a job does he do? He is telling you that he does not like it here. That is why he doesn't want you to come here. It's a big lie. He or you can insist that if you really want to be in a relationship with me, if you really want to retire here in Africa or in uh, Asia, then I want to visit where you live first so that I can see your life and then we will continue, I'll see. And with time, if he accepts, then with time you will prove if it's true this guy really wanna retire in africa <laughs> or if this guy is really single you will know once you visit him at his place not in the hotel because some of them will bring you at the hotel and it ends there you've seen europe go back <laughs> to your country no you should see his real life <laughs> to be able to trust whatever he tells you number seven type of a white guy you should never date is the one that you have been chatting or you have met this guy and with the time you have been together you have seen that you have a very big difference in interests, religion, maybe the kind of food that he eats some of them are vegetarian or you find you are vegetarian and he is not or he is vegetarian and you are not and this guy tells you I am vegetarian when I marry you I want you to become vegetarian you are not allowed to eat anything that is not vegetable or some of them have got very crazy interests <laughs> like I told you in one of my videos some of them like both men and women but sometimes it is not that way it is him that is being used as a woman without offending anyone that is his life he has chosen his life to be that way uh, but if it's not what you want my dear black women don't go on with this relationship don't date this guy. I have an example of something that happened. That is why I said, maybe you have different religion. He is too religious or <laughs> some of them don't believe in God. <laughs> These people exist and it's okay. <laughs> Everyone is free to do whatever they feel like doing. It's okay but you are religious you believe in god but he does not and the most worst thing this guy is mocking you because you're believing in god he wants you also not to believe in god when you are in a relationship or some of them are too religious there there, there are some communities whereby they marry among themselves 
They are very religious. Even if you change your religion and become like them, they will never accept you. Because even among themselves, they don't accept anyone to marry their son because they have maybe arranged marriages. An example that I told you, there is another case that is going on here in Italy of a couple that met on TikTok, fell in love, and this couple, they are both from Pakistan. So they started loving each other they met and everything was going very well. They also planned to get married. Mind you, this girl had already a husband to marry her when she was little. In fact, this husband is a cousin of this girl. But because they were living in Europe, <laughs> this girl told herself that I'm in Europe, I can do whatever I want. I don't want arranged marriage. I don't want this man that wants to marry me, the cousin. And she was not agreeing on this culture of arranged marriages. So they, they went ahead and planned their wedding, but this girl did not have her documents so that she can get married because you need to have documents so that you can get married here in Italy. The documents of this girl the father had them so she went to the father so that she can get the documents and go get married but the parents were not okay with her decision of being in love with this other pakistan guy they wanted their daughter to get married to the cousin they had arranged because the cousin the cousin's family was very rich so it's about <laughs> it's it is about this and the culture guys so uh, this girl went to the father to take the documents by force they gave her the documents she left it was at night but something very bad happened because these parents had arranged to take the life of this girl because she wasn't listening to them so the uncle of the girl we don't know till now what this uncle did but the brother was asked because uh, the brother is still here in Italy was asked and told the police that he believes that the uncle took the life of the sister because that is what the parents wanted and when this girl went out with her documents to go to, to the boyfriend parents followed her and afterwards the parents returned in the house with only the bag of the girl and they were crying but the italian police are still looking for the body of this girl they're not finding it anywhere they've been searching since april this year till now as we are talking they are not finding the body of this girl and also parents escaped to pakistan so you can see how serious things can get <laughs> some communities it is very difficult to integrate it is very difficult to say that i found love and we are going to fight for our love this girl this girl is not found if they took her life it is only because she believed that love was very strong and she could achieve whatever she wanted to achieve but she did not achieve it so when you come across this type of a white man please do not date this type of otherwise then you have to sacrifice your life which is a very big sacrifice but if you want to go for it then <laughs> you are free to do whatever you want but as my advice, as Bella, as your sister, as a friend, do not date this type of a white man. This type of a white guy, do not date him. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> You've been chatting with this guy. It has been four days and he is already telling you that he is 
totally in love with you. He is introducing you different people. <laughs> this is my friend. This is my daughter. This is my, my uncle. This is, he's doing that time, four days time of a period. And he's telling you that he wants, he wants to buy, he wants to buy some gifts for you. The next day, he has bought the gifts already. <laughs> and he wants to send them to you without even asking what is your shoe number what is your size without asking all those questions but he has already bought you the gifts he wants your address your bank account and your full names i'll put an example of what i'm telling you guys it happened a guy was chatting with a girl and immediately started sending her a lot of photos of things that he has bought for her without even asking the size of this girl the shoe size the size of the dresses he started sending a lot of photos telling her send me your bank account then send me your full address pressuring her he was pressuring her a lot so these type of men they are so many and i have heard a lot of them are from Facebook. Beware. Don't lie to yourself and say that you found a rich guy or you found a white man and trust him. Give him every details. Your bank account will be empty <laughs> within a few hours. Don't do it. Don't give him any information about you. And if you see that, block him immediately. I'm going to end here. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really hope this video have been very helpful to you who is looking for a white man, for marriage, for a relationship, or you're just looking for love anywhere. <laughs> I just hope it is helpful to you. Thank you so much. And if you've liked this video, please give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy and learn something from this video comment below what you think about this video <laughs> i would like to know i love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao